Have you ever been anointed? Hi kids and welcome to today's Kids Corner. The Bible is God's word for us. It tells us about how much God loves us, so it's good to read from it and to do that often. Today we're going to hear from the good news, the gospel that was written down for us in the Bible by Luke. But before we start, let's do as we always do. Let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads and pray. Lord God, please help us to learn today and especially keep your word in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. One day, Jesus went back to his hometown of Nazareth. All the people were excited to see him and wanted to hear him talk because they'd heard that he'd been doing really amazing things in nearby cities, like healing the sick and making the blind to see. So they invited him to speak at their synagogue at their Sabbath gathering. That's like saying they invited him to preach in their church on Sunday. So he came, and when it was time for him to speak, the rabbi, the minister that was there, handed him a scroll, the one written by the prophet Isaiah. That's one of the books that you can read at home in your Bibles. And Jesus opened it up, and he read these words, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me, He's chosen me and he's blessed me to give the poor good news. He sent me to tell those who are being held captive all about freedom and to give real eyesight to those who can't see, to free people who are being kept from loving God and to tell everyone that this is the year that God wants to bless the world. All the eyes were on Jesus. He rolled the scroll up again and he gave it back to the rabbi and he sat down with the people and he began to speak. Today, he said, everything that God has said in these words has come true. God chose and blessed Jesus to bless his chosen people, and he did even more than that. You see, when God chose Jesus to do all those things for the people of Israel, God also chose him to do the same for us. So when God anointed Jesus, he anointed you too. You're blessed because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. He set you free from that prison called sin. He opened your eyes to see his love. He freed you from that bully named Satan. And that's nothing but good news. You have been anointed. You've been blessed by Jesus. Amen. Now let's pray. This time you can repeat after me. When we pray, we're going to fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads. And we'll say, thank you, God for helping me to believe, in Jesus' name. And all the people say, Amen. If you want to know more about Jesus, you can read all about his life, death, and resurrection in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can also read about how Jesus was anointed by God and what he did to anoint us. That part is in Luke 4, uh, Luke 4 verses 16 through 30. As always, we've got a fun craft for you to do this week. Just click on the video beside this one on our, on our homepage at gracemitchell.ca and you can see what that's all about. There's also an activity sheet for you to have some fun with. Just click on the picture beside the craft video and that'll take you to our website's members section. Remember to get in, you'll have to type in that secret passcode, GLC2022, that's GLC like Grace Lutheran Church, and then 2022 like the year. No capitals, no spaces, just GLC2022. When you type that in, you hit enter, you should see a, uh, a pop-up at the top of the screen that says you've done everything correctly. Just hit OK and you'll go right to the page for downloading. Please remember to be polite and ask if it's OK to download stuff and print things out before you start. And it's really important for you to ask for help if you can't do any of that on your own. Well, that's it for this week. God bless your day and the days ahead, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. And amen.